What's going on everybody? How's it going? In this video I'm going to quickly go over this major issue that's going on with Snapchat where Snapchat is randomly banning users and deleting their accounts and not letting them log back in to save any memories or anything and then permanently banning the device that the user is uh, logging in from so they can't even make a new Snapchat account. And me personally, I was permanently banned and deleted about two months ago and when it happened I wasn't sure why it happened I thought I was hacked at first but I figured out that I was banned because of an email I got which I'll show here in a second and when this happened I was on reddit trying to find an answer for this so I was on r slash snapchat help and I found that there are just dozens of other people that are dealing with this issue and the problem is Snapchat support doesn't seem to be helping anyone. All right, so me personally, what I was doing right before I got banned on Snapchat, I was out on a video shoot for a woman's multivitamin and I was getting shots of this vitamin bottle. And as a joke, I pulled out my phone, opened Snapchat, took a picture of the bottle. And I said like selling one bottle for $30, six bottles for 300. And uh, with, you know, like a pill emoji and a zip the lip emoji. And the reason I did that, because it was, it was a joke, you know, like people are just selling drugs on Snapchat all the time. So I just posted that as a joke, kind of mocking like drug dealers on Snapchat. And one of my friends actually slid up on it and said like, eh, like let me get a bottle. As, as a, you know, it was a joke. But uh, somehow within 15 minutes after that, I got an email that I was banned. I didn't notice until, you know, 30 minutes later I got home. I opened up Snapchat. It just showed that my uh, email address was invalid, that my phone number was invalid. I thought I was hacked at first because my mom recently got hacked on Facebook. So I was just thinking like, oh man, I got hacked on Snapchat, but no, I just got banned. So here's the email. It says Snapchat account termination. Due to a violation of our terms of service, which you agreed upon when you signed up for Snapchat, your account has been deleted. Please note, we cannot recover the deleted account for you. Also, as stated in our terms, Snapchatters who have had their accounts deleted are prohibited from creating new accounts. Thanks, Snapchat. After I saw that email, I went to their support system and I typed the, this message here. I was like, I was on Snapchat an hour ago, now I tried opening up my app, it says we cannot find a matching username, help, I've been a Snap user since 2012, you know, thinking like that that would help somehow, but anytime I would send a support email, it would just send me uh, this automated response saying, thanks for reaching out, the account in question has been removed from our database due to a violation of Snapchat terms of service, once an account has been terminated, we are unable to reinstate it. Snapchatters who have had their account terminated are also prohibited from creating new accounts. Please note, we are unable to assist you further with this issue. So it's like, something happened. I don't know if Snapchat has some new, like, ban or uh, terms of service detection system where they're, like, scanning, you know, stories, trying to, like, find people selling drugs and just permabanning perma them or finding people posting other things. I have no idea, this makes no sense. Because when I was with some friends telling them about this, they were telling me like, dude, we know people and you know people that clearly post drugs on Snapchat and sell drugs on Snapchat. So the fact that you posted some joke with some woman's multivitamin and actually got banned, that's ridiculous. And I'm like, I know. And at first, when I got banned, I was like, you know what? It's time to take a social media break anyways. I'll just get off Snapchat. I was just posting nonsense to my story all the time anyways. But, um, you know, it's been like two months now. I kind of I kind of miss it because I have a lot of family members and like bosses on Instagram. Instagram's kind of like a Facebook nowadays. You know, like a lot of people see that stuff. Whereas Snapchat is more of a like a personal kind of uh i don't know it just it just feels more personal like with your friends like making group chats and it it was it was uh one of my most used apps for sure on a, on a daily basis 
All right, so to wrap this video up, I'm just gonna go over some posts on r slash snapchat help of other people telling their stories about being banned. Hi guys, so last night my snapchat account was terminated. No way to get it back. Made me sick to my stomach. Literally threw up. Eight plus years of memories lost and I had tons of friends that I only had added on there, whether it be from online friends or tinder girls, etc. Snapchat major cock block move here. This guy has lost his whole rolodex of tinder thoughts. F and chat for that guy, man. That That's sad. That is very sad. Honestly, me too. Here we are with the next one. Just wanted to say that Snapchat support is absolutely useless. My phone got banned without a clear reason. There's literally no way to recover it, and Snapchat is just unable to contact. And stop saying we should read the service terms because it's useless. I lost friends and memories, bro. That's what it really comes down to, Snapchat. It's not just about the app. It's about the friends. It's about the memories, it's about the Snapchat thoughts, it's about the private stories, you know. <sighs> Alright, this next one, all jokes aside, is from four days ago. It's about some girl's boyfriend apparently, you know, doing uh, some self-harm, suicidal thoughts over the Snapchat ban, which is very severe. I'm not too sure about this, but I'll just go ahead and read it. Uh, so my boyfriend's account was permanently banned. We don't care about the ban, and we know why it probably happened. We've shared nudes on story a few times and occasional drug use. It's most likely some haters reporting the content. Anyway, that part isn't important. My boyfriend has very severe depression to the point that he will harm himself over very small changes in our lives. I have to keep sharp objects away, drugs and painkillers locked up the whole four yards of how to stop a suicidal person from harming themselves. He's chronically ill, so a lot of the memories he had from before his illness are really important to him. The fact that before his illness was he was able to party, memories of his pet cat, who was his best friend and only a small animal he would confide in, before the times turned to shit and the depression took over. Today he's harmed himself in the 15 seconds that I was out of the room over this ban. We don't really care about the ban, but there doesn't seem to be a way to recover the photos and videos without being able to log into the account. Yada yada yada. I really don't care about using Snapchat anymore. We just want our memories back so we can look over them because sometimes soon my boyfriend is going to either take his own life or die to his chronic illness, so please, please, please. If there's any way we can get to the photos and memories, it would mean the world to him and me. Yeah, that's a tough one. I don't know what to say. I mean, I feel it. I, I look at pictures of my dog all the time, and he's still alive. But if, you know, my... If media of my dog was gone and he was gone, I would, I would actually really feel distressed over that truthfully I, I would um i don't know this is this is a tough one I, I really don't think it's fake either like it has four upvotes it's from four days ago on r slash snapchat help i don't think people are clout chasing here i genuinely think that this could be a real scenario where somebody had snapchat memories that were personal to them and now, because of this random issue, they are locked out, and because of the way Snapchat has set this situation up, they cannot get the memories back. So, you know, it sucks, because Snapchat, they create something called memories. You know, the, Snapchat creates the memories, you, you look at the memories a year ago from today, two years ago from today, you know, three, four, it's like the longer you use the app, and the, the more memories you have with it, I don't know. I think they really made themselves to be like a reliable place to like store pictures and videos. And then now that this, this weird issue is happening, this black hole of bands, it's like, it's actually really fucking some people over like this guy here, like this is not a joke. And then here's just another one. This guy, this post right here, is pretty much summing up everything I talked about in this video. He was on Snap normally. 
he logged back in, his account is terminated. Or maybe we can get someone like Philip DeFranco to take care of this. He's sort of like an internet policeman. Um, so yeah, that's the end of this video. Basically, if you got banned from Snapchat recently, you're fucked.